Hi, hello everyone. <laughs> this is Alejandro Gomez with CreatingWithAli.com. I think you catch me as I am arranging here. But anyway, um, if you're watching me today, we're going to be doing the uh, three Christmas cards featuring the Sweet Little Stockings uh, bundle, which is this one. Let me just show you here real quick. Um, so it is the one that has the little pet, which I love. And of course it comes with a die set. Um, and again, when you get them together, you save 10%. So definitely I tried to get them on a bundle because you end up saving um, uh, a little bit more. And then um, we're going to be using the designer series paper. And the three cards that I have today are more of a fun fold. So we'll see how that goes. And so we go from there. But anyway, so thank you so much for being here. <laughs> hi Rose, I am so happy you're here. Hi Ewell, hi Barbara. Um, hi Jean. Oh, that's awesome. First time you're catching me live, that's amazing. So anyway, um, usually I just give a little bit of uh, introduction at the very beginning um, as we get everyone in and also just to give you an update of classes and upcoming events. Um, so first off, I have two classes going on right now. You can sign up this week if you want to get the make and take kit. Hi Debbie, hi Sharon. Um, and so the first one is the beauty of tomorrow. Um, like I mentioned, these uh, ephemera pack, which is the Blackberry Beauty ephemera pack, just came really, really um, available like really shortly. So anyway, uh, I grabbed a few of those of the ephemera packs, mainly because I've been wanted to hold this class since like a month ago or even two months ago and this whole suite goes uh, on back order really quick. So anyway, the Femina Park is the one that we're going to be using here and um, I'm super excited um, that I was able to grab a few. So anyway, the class registration ends I believe on Monday, if I remember correctly. I don't remember if it is Friday or Monday, but make sure you are on my mailing list. And I always put it on the description of this video, which is uh, bit.ly uh, forward slash stay in touch with Ali. So that way you get the registration forms, or you can email me at Ali at creatingwithali.com so that I can send you the registration form for this class. So this is that one. And I don't know if I mentioned this before, but you actually make 10 cards. So you make two of each. That's what that you'll get the materials to do two of each of these cards. So it is for 10 cards. Um, the next one, of course, is our last Christmas stamp stack. Can you believe it? I mean, this is the last one that I'm offering this year. I'm excited, <laughs> but at the same time, it's like, mm, it's so close. So anyway, this one is featuring the uh, Wincy, what is it, Wonder and Wincy, or Wincy Cultry, sorry. Um, and so I just love the colors. It's just not your typical or traditional um, Christmas cards. However, they all look really nice. And I, I mean, the paper really, until you see it in person, it's just... A wow so anyway so there's four different designs but you make three of each so you end up making 12 cards and this one also that's the one where I'm confusing one of them it's uh, the last day to sign up is on Monday and the other one so next Monday and the other one is um, the last day is on Friday I just don't remember right now which one is what so anyway make sure you're in the registration I'm um, sorry on my mailing list to get the registration forms and again you can email me at creating with, at ali at creating with ali .com. <laughs> hi Sharon <laughs> you're you're right these are a must-have <laughs> hi Eleanor um and then finally uh here is the um the December what is the the monthly card club. So this is the kit for December, which is the one anyone who signs up between now and December 7th will get this kit. And um, this is the one that we're gonna be making. I just love all the greens. And this is with the Gardens Eden's collection, which is now available for all customers, but it has all the gold foils that I love. I love that the stamp set on that uh, on that stamp set says sending hugs because I always use hugs in my email, so I thought that was really nice. And then this is by far my favorite. I don't know, it's a it's a new um, sketch, if you will. I actually now follow uh, Call Me Crafty Al Ali, I think it is, or Al Call, Call Me Crafty Al, I think it is, 
And um, this is the uh, sketch that she used last month. And if you know me, I just love the sketches. And so I couldn't resist to incorporate in one of my classes because I thought it was really fun to do. So anyway, um, so again, you can sign up for this kit between now and December 7th. If you sign up on December 8th, then you get the next one. And uh, we just had our on stage event, which is uh, an event with a Stampin' Up! uh last weekend and i was able to see the brand new catalog and in fact all new demonstrators all demonstrators not new all demonstrators can see now the brand new catalog that is coming up in um january and i just gotta say there's a really nice suite with valentine's in mind and so i'm thinking that maybe for the january kit i will do some um either treats or something for valentine's because i just love the whole thing and of course it incorporates the pinks and the purples and you know I love purple, so I, I just I just can't wait. I think that my things are arriving tomorrow. Yes, so anyway, so very excited about that. So anyway, and then the other thing I just want to make sure you know is that we have going on the, uh, what is this called? The seasonal sale, which is only today, tomorrow, and then the 18th. So 16, 17, and 18th of November. And pretty much the car stock is a 10%. All the car stock is a 10%. All the ink pads, not the bundles and not the third party. When they say the third party, these are the mementos and the stations. Those are not included in the sale, but all our color ink pads, our regular ink pads are included and they get a 15% discount. So if you haven't completed your collection, definitely this is a time to stock up on those. Um, except for the bundles. The bundles are not included, but the regular ink pads, you know, like the one by one, all of those are on the sale and then the best thing that i think is the uh the die sets um all the die sets from the annual catalog not the holiday but the annual catalog are on a 20 percent discount and so i've been sending multiple emails i know but i really wanted to make sure you knew about those because i feel like when you're using the label dies you can make your cards super easy um, I know you have heard me say over and over uh, about the sketches and in fact I've held in the past several um, challenges with how to use the sketches, how to create cars. In fact my car making 101 class uh, it's all around the sketches, how to use them, how to design your cars and all that and it's all about the sketches and I think that the big thing is really use those label dies because you can incorporate mix and match and change to whatever you have uh, as far as the suite, but you just need the labels. And so definitely if you're missing some of the label dies, this is a time to get them because you save uh, 20%, which is a great deal. Uh, so typically they are between 31 and $35. Right now they are around 25 to 28. So um, definitely a great time to get them. Um, I'll be honest, I have, uh, because I do these uh, for my car classes, I actually have two to three of each of those, just because that way I can uh, cut out a lot faster. So if you love to make multiples, definitely consider getting a second one. So definitely it's a great, great, great deal. And then finally, if you wanna make things even better, um, you can incorporate the products from the sale into your starter kit. Yes, so stamping up let us uh, double up on those um, on the savings and double dip on the savings, I guess. And so you can get all the products, like for instance, several sets um, that are already at a 20% discount, put it into your star kit, which all it is is get $125 worth of products, but you only pay $75 during this month. And so definitely if you're gonna be, if you're thinking about the starter kit because it's a great deal, this is the best time to do it because you save a lot more when you include the products from the, um, from the sale into your starter kit. And again, there's no commitments once you buy that starter kit. All it means is that now you are a happy chopper. You get a 20% on, uh, on all your orders for as long as you are active. If you don't do anything else other than getting that starter kit, nothing happens. Um, so there's really nothing to lose and it is a great deal to have. So anyway, um, if you have any questions about that starter kit, make sure you let me know. 
I'll be more than happy to help you. Again, you can email me at ali at creatingwithali.com and I'll be more than happy to help you. I'll also be sending you some emails about that as well. So if you want to get uh, my link to join, I'll send you that link so that you can get that or start a queue right away. So anyway, so a lot of talking. I think I have uh, plenty of people now uh, joining us. So let's just turn uh, our cameras and see there. Oh, hi, Sherry. It's been a long time. Hi, Marianne. Thank you so much for sharing, Marianne. I really appreciate it. It always helps me when you uh, share the video. So thank you so much. Hi, Betsy. <laughs> oh, hi, Pat. You're so sweet. Thank you so much for sharing as well. Um, and hi, Dawn. I think I saw you too. So anyway, oh, Lorraine is here. So she just joined my team and I'm super excited. So hi, Lorraine. Happy to see you here. So anyway, so let me just turn on the cameras and um don't get dizzy okay let's hope everything goes well <laughs> that's always um here it is all right let me just do a little bit of foxing here and i think uh is it better i think this will be better just give me one second okay so as i was mentioning um we're going to be using the Sweet Stocking Sweets. Actually, it's the Sweet Little Stockings uh, bundle. My, more than the Sweet, it's really the bundle. Um, and let me just make sure I move things around here before I continue. Um, and so this is the one that has the little pets, right? So as I mentioned, um, here is the bundle. So it comes with a die set and of course there's some labels, uh, but there's really more for the little stamp images. And some of these images really uh, go, uh, or some of these dies go with the images from the designer series paper. More and more stamping up does that. And I just love it because you get, um, it's easier for you to create your cards. And so let me just show you here. I try to have several of those cut out always. Um, Cause then when I am, like this one is from the designer series paper and you can see it is actually from one of these, um, but you can cut them out um, using the um, die set. And so I love doing uh, or cutting out several of them because that way the next time I am uh, designing a card is just easier for me to just grab them. And you can make your own stockings as well, as you can see here. So uh, using that stamp set, so, or the bundle, I should say. So anyway, so those are a few samples. And so let's just get started here. Oh, oh, let me just show you here. So here it is. Now, when you get the bundle together, it's $47.50. So it is a good deal because you end up saving 10%. So definitely consider getting the bundle rather than just the one because uh, you save a lot more from that end. And then the decorative the um, matte dots is this one, which by the way, when you purchase with me this week, so you just need to be using the host code, this one, which is B-C-A-U-B-M-U-U. -U. Um, so when you use this host code and your order is $50, you get the, which one I said, the crinkle, this one, the crinkle seam binding ribbon, which is this one. I love this one, A, because it has some texture too, because it's so easy to color in the color that you need using the blends, which I think we're gonna be doing some of that here. The one from this suite is uh, a strip blue, which is also really nice. I don't remember what I did with it. I think it was here. I, uh, I don't know. I don't know what I did with it. It was here. I promise you. I, oh, here. I'm like, I promise you it was here. I'm always losing everything. So it is this one. But in my when I was designing my cars, I was going more for the greens and the reds. And so I don't know that I wanted to use that one. And so I switched to this just because I was thinking I could change this one to any color I needed. Even if it were pool party, I could be still uh, color it. So anyway, we'll see how that goes. You know that I'll never have the cards made until we're doing the video. So we'll see where it goes. And then same with this one, because I, oh, I always give the card kit to the people who place an order. I'm not really sure I'm going to be using this one, mainly because if you've noticed which I should have noticed when I sent that email, is that the colors kind of change. So you kind of get like one row of one shade, um, but then it kind of goes to a different color. So if I have several of you ordering, I don't think I have enough to do that. You know what I'm saying? So I might need to change it for my projects, but you still get a pack of these when you order, it's $100. So if your order is $100, you get this one plus the white, um, the white crinkle uh, ribbon, 
But again, I think that for today's projects, I might not use this one mainly because I don't want to get into the situation where I don't have enough for everyone um, or that it is a, a lighter color or a different color than the ones that I use. I should have... I should have paid attention to those things. So anyway, I might go with the holiday, uh, with the holiday rhinestones for my cards, just because it has also uh, like the greens, the reds, and the yellow. So I could use those. And then for the price, will be this one. How about that? Okay. So that's the main reason. So anyway, so let's get it started. And like I mentioned also at the beginning, I'm gonna be doing some um, uh, fun folds. One of, actually, two of them are kind of new to me. So we're going to see how that goes. Oh my gosh, I'm losing my pieces. So give me one second. I have a mess here. I really do. Um, all right, so here we go. Hold on, let me just get these pieces out. All right, so we have these. And again, this is kind of like a new uh, phone fold for me. So we'll see, we'll see how that goes. Oh, and guys, thank you so much for, um, <laughs> hi, Betty, glad you catch me live. Uh, thank you so much for sharing. I really appreciate it. So anyway, so here's what I have. Now, as I mentioned, the dies are one of the things that are on the sale. And as you're going to see here, I tend to use a lot of my dies. So these ones are from the So Sweetly dies. And this is also uh, one of those that are on a discount um, today. Well, these three days, I should say. So it is this one, and you can see you have some of the escalop rectangles, which the escalop is really little. Um, the escalop contours have a larger escalop edge, but these are really cute as well. And I honestly love all these labels because they go really well. Whether you are embellishing your car or you're just using it for big sentiments, these ones are really one of my favorites, and I tend to use this a lot. Um, and then I'm using this little one for one of the sentiments too. So anyway, so here's what we have. Ooh, and I think I lost one. Oh, maybe it's this one. Huh. I'm telling you. Um, so anyway, so this one, let me get my ruler. I believe this one was four and one quarter. Let me see. Yeah, four and one quarter by ten. Yes, so by ten. And then it was a score at one and a half. Yes, so one and a half, and then at three, and then at six and a half. That's how it was the score. And then another piece that I have here is uh, two and three quarters. Is that right? Yeah, two and three quarters by eight and a half. Okay, and this one was the score at five and a half. Yeah, five and a half. All right, so this is all the measurements here. Um, and then these are just the panels um, that I'm going to be using. So these ones, let me get my ruler again. So for this one, I have a piece of that gorgeous designer series paper and it has those little cute um, pets in the stockings. And this one is two and a half um, by five and one quarter, which is going to go here. And it's just leaving me a quarter of an inch. Uh, it's a quarter of an inch smaller than this panel. Um, then I have this one, and this one is uh, four by one and one quarter, and so this one is going to go right here, and then this one goes here, and this one should be four, yeah, four by three and one quarter, so this one is going to go right here, okay? So the way this card goes, well, I won't give it away right now, and then this one is for the inside, and um, this one is four by three and one quarter all right now like i said these are just dies uh die cuts from that stitch so sweetly which is this one and again it's part of the sale uh during these three days or the seasonal sale and so this one is in cherry cobbler this is basic white and then this is the bumblebee all right and again i'm using the largest this one and the little one the, the smallest one all right so these are the ones that we're using. Now, as far as our stamping, let's go for the stamping first. Um, and I just need a piece of white. Hold on, I think it's this one. Is this the same? Now I'm kind of questioning here. Nope, this is good. Okay, I'm like, this is the same. So let's just bring our... Hmm, give me a second here. Our pierce mat. Now, this is a photopolymer stamp set. And so I like to have the photopolymer stamp set. Um, I like to use my, what is this called? Uh, 
the peers mat because you get a better transfer of your images that's all it is all right so for this one we're going to be using the memento because i'm going to be coloring with the plants and so we're going to do the dog i'm a dog person i love dogs now my my memento is not always the best i re-ink it and re-ink it oh see and now i'm covering everything here i re-ink it and re-ink it and it's still i don't get a really nice i don't know what the deal is okay so not bad i'm going to be doing also it's a uh, santa claus hat okay there you go and what else do i want uh, oh, one of the candy canes, if I have it here. Yes, let's just do that. One of the candy canes. Now, I'm going to color one of the cats in case some of you are a cat, more of a cat person. I know I have lots of friends that are cat persons, you know. I always think of a specific one person every time I thought I see uh, cats. Um, I have a dear friend that she is into cats. She loves cats. I mean, she's also into dogs, but I feel like she's more of a cat person than a dog. So every single time I see a cat, I always think of her. So anyway, we're going to be doing... And actually, let's do two, because I want to show you two different ways to color this cat. All right, so... Because you know me, uh, I'm going to be coloring these, and then um, we're going to be using them for our project. So... All right, so first things off, let's... Oh, and I forgot about this one. So this one, I want to use the one that says Very Merry. I didn't... Is that right? Is this the one that fits? Ooh, it's going to be kind of tight. We'll see. We'll see if it fits. If not, then we'll think of something. I thought it would fit. I hope it does. If not, I can use this one. I actually have this one too, which is um, this little die, right? So I have it here. So in case it doesn't fit there, I'll have this one. Okay, so we'll see. We'll see. Um, as you can see, I... And this is Early Espresso. I love Early Espresso. Ooh, it might be very tight, but might be able to fit it in. Let's see. The dog is so sweet. <laughs> Betty. Yes, I... Oh, look. It looks good. All right, so I'm going to do this one as well and see if I like it better. We'll see. All right, so we'll see which one we like. I think that you can still read very merry. So I might go with this one regardless, but um, you can see. Now, see how rich that early espresso look? That's how I would like that black to be. But like I said, I'm always having issues with it. Now, for the dog, I'm going to go with the cinnamon cider. And so what I'm going to be doing is I'm just going to go ahead and one thing here, just be careful with the eye so that you don't cover the white area of the dog, of the eye from the dog. Um, from the eye, I should say. I don't know what I said. I hope you understand. <laughs> and so this one, I'm just going to do like this. And then the same thing here. Just be careful with the eye so that you have that white area. And I thought that uh, having the center in white looks really, really cute, don't you think? But this dog looks so, so cute. All right, and now on the hands, you can opt to do several things. Either have a piece of brown, everything brown, the little fingers, you know, I don't know. Let's see. I think my, uh, the one that I was playing had the whole, like the whole thing in brown. But we can have one like so, you know. I don't know i like oh let's just do the whole thing but you can be playing with it as well i have some pieces um that are white um all right and then we're gonna go ahead and add some shadows and i'm just following here and you know what i might just do A little bit there and then with the lighter color now we're going to be doing some blending and 
Again, be just careful with the eye. And there you go. All right, so that's the dog. Now, like I said, I want to have the dog, I like the dark or the black really black. So I'm gonna be using the Stamping Bright just for those areas where my eye, I don't know, it just looks grayish. And I just want it to be like really, really black. I just love the black, okay? And the same with the nose. Now, you don't need to be doing this part if you don't want to. But like I say, it kind of drives me nuts that my memento doesn't get really... Like, look at the nose also in this guy. Well, I'm just going to leave it. This is so small that I'll leave it that way. I will have to put my face there instead of um, just doing from here. So anyway, now for the cat though... Like I said, I have like two different ways. One is if you want to have like a white dog, like a white cat, then I would go with the great granite and the, what is this called? The light flirly flamingo. This is both the light shades. And so I would just do a little bit of, I always put cheeks, especially on these ones. And then just go... Um, and just add a little bit of the color here, okay? So very little, not much. So it's just like um, the contour. Now I'm gonna bring, I forgot this, but I'm gonna bring the lifter. And I'm gonna be just blending a little bit those cheeks. And so that's one way to do the cut if you want like a white cut, right? This one will look at like it's finished. Now, the other one is we're gonna go again with a little bit of the cheeks. And then for this one, um, and let me just make sure I have something here. Yeah, for this one, we're going to go ahead and bring the, again, you can use this one or the Smoky Slate. And what I thought we could do is have his um, ears. And then, you know how some cats have, like, stripes? So I thought that you could do something like that and of course they do have like a little you know and it gives him a little bit of personality as well and it's very very um uh, it's not a lot you know it's like kind of subtle too so it's not so much of a and you can add um those lines as much as you want or as as wide as you want right like if I want it to be more of a grayish, right? And then you can just add a little bit of it's supposed to, right? So you can play with it and go with that. But I love adding, um, yeah, there you go. So that you can have, um, what am I say here? A cat that has more of the uh, gray. And again, you can add a little bit more if you want. Like, I feel like I might be missing something here too. And if you want to blend it as well, you can go back with the um, color lifter. If you want to blend it a little bit more. Okay. So here are two options for those cats. And I think those are really nice. Now, the other thing, like if you want to get more creative, you know how those, how do they call them? I think it's Calico, uh, the Calico cat. Oh, actually see like Kay's picture has a cat right there. And so hers, I would assume you can go and do something similar, but now using also the um, Cinnamon Cider. Or the other thing you can do is just have um, the gray, like a darker gray or even black with the cinnamon to have that calico in their in their faces. So different ways to do it, right? So anyway, just play with it. I know you're gonna love it. So anyway, so that's that. Now for the hat, I'm just gonna go now with the um, 
cherry color. Hi, Kay. <laughs> Uh, I just saw the picture of yours and I was like, yeah, exactly. This is what we're talking. <laughs> All right. So anyway, so for this one, I'm using the light cherry color and I'm just going to go ahead and, um, and do the hat. And then also I'm going to be doing this one. For the and this one just be as low, you know, go as lowly so that you don't go into the white areas. There we go. And then um, for this one, you could go ahead and add. Oh no, that one. This one is so like the image is kind of a small, so I don't want to. And again, I like to do my blending more in the center, more than in the edges so that it doesn't bleed. So here's what I would have. Now we're going to go ahead and um, cut out these images using the, uh, what is this doll called? The die. So here is that one and the hat. All right, and where's the cat? Somewhere here, here is a cat. And then the candy cane, okay? All right, so let's cut out those pieces. Okay. And so, like I mentioned last week, um, the uh, if you like to get the, what is this called? The cut and embows. Right now, it's a great time to get it because you'll get it at a discount, right? Like we have that permission for this cutter kit, and so this one is regularly at one hundred and twenty dollars. And so when you get it right now, you can get it on your starter kit. It's still at like five more dollars of products, and then only pay what seventy five dollars for it. So definitely a great time to get the. Um, the cotton bows if you haven't done so, like if you haven't gotten just yet, okay? Uh, definitely, definitely a great time. And I'm gonna be using a, um, post-its right now. Uh, let's just see here. I'm gonna line up everything. This is the only thing, um, All right. Oh, my fingers. Okay. And then I'll get this one right here. And, um, There we go. I think we're good. I'm gonna. Okay. Um, whenever I have everything um, colored out, I like to add the post sticks or the magnetic platform, which we don't sell that right now anymore. Um, but um, I want to make sure that I'm not, um, that I don't ruin my pieces because these are already colored pieces, you know, and so I want them to have like kind of, this one kind of move a little bit, that's fine. We have another cut we can cut out. Uh -huh. And there we go, this one, there we go. And this is why I always have all these things done for the live, because otherwise I would take forever. <laughs> but anyway, let's cut out the other cut already, just to have those ready to go. 
Then again, you just line them up. And where's the sticky part? There we go. Hi, Donna. How are you? <laughs> okay, so let's just get this out of the way. Alrighty, so here we go. So we can go with the cat. Now, um, if you've noticed, well, what did I do with the hat? What happened? With, oh, here. That's fine. Like, if you notice with my hat, it kind of went a little more towards one end. It's okay, but if it bugs you, you can cut out a little bit of that. It's just at the end. Or um, if I can find my scissors. Yep, here we go. So you could uh, cut out a little bit there if it's... Because it kind of moved a little bit. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Just so it doesn't look all weird, you know? Not one side too wide or anything. Um, anyway, so let's go with the cart now. So now for this one. Now for the inside, I think it will be nice if we add something, don't you think? Um, let me see here for a second. Um, we could even add one of these sentiments for the inside because it says very merry. Um, oh, I like this one. I like this one. Um, mainly because when I, during the holidays, you know, if you send a lot of cards, which sometimes I tend to do that, um, I feel like it's, it's better if I only put my name, you know, and call it good. So, um, cause otherwise it gets too overwhelming if I have to do like 200 cards and you have to write everything on each of them. But if you just put the sentiment, that way you say, oh, and it's kind of cricket, we can, let me see, what am I doing here? Hopefully this time it's better. Yeah, much better. Okay, that way you only put the name of the person and your name and you're pretty much done. You know, it comes, it goes faster that way. So anyway, so here we go. We have all of these and again, you can pick and choose which one do you want to do. I'm going to go with the dog because I love the dogs, but we can use um, one of the cats as well. All right. So anyway, and so let's see. Ooh. Oh, you know what? I forget. I forgot this. Okay, so there's one more thing that we need to be doing. And um, here we go. All right, so let's just bring this one back. I'm going to be... Oh, not this one. <clears throat> I'm going to be using this one. And we're going to be stamping with this one. What is the color of this? the early espresso okay and then i'm gonna bring the old olive hold on here and I have these little stars. The set has some little stars. So we're just going to go ahead. Oh, I didn't cover those. All right. Then the, we're just going to go ahead and add like the one here and maybe one more here, you know? And so I'm just using this one to cover. There you go. And uh, maybe another one there, you know. There you go. And maybe one more here. There you go. So it kind of looks like it's all with a pattern. <clears throat> and then using the, hold on, first this one, I'm gonna go with the 
Old Olive, The Dark. Hi, Linda. Hi, Margaret. Thank you so much for sharing again. Thank you, thank you. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and color this section. So this one is gonna go really fast so that we can decorate our stocking. Okay. And then we're gonna go with the dark of the uh, sherry cobbler. And we're gonna be doing this section. And right now it looks really dark, but it will kind of um, lighten a little bit. And then I'm also going to be doing this section, the top section without the X, okay? So just do the line first. And then the rest is just super easy. So that way it kind of looks like we have a pattern there. And then the same thing here. We're just going to go ahead and follow that. I'm just going to be careful here to not get out. Same. And then you have your stocking. I love doing this because you don't have to color that much, you know? And so anyway, you take your die set and then cut it out and then you get something like this, okay? So there we go. So that way we have the stocking for our card. All right, so let's just start doing all the assembling here. <clears throat> oh, where's the, here, I'm like, where is this one? All right, so first things first, we're gonna go ahead and start Adhering all these pieces. So like this one is in the bottom. And again, all of them have um, the one quarter of an inch is smaller. They're all one quarter of, um, of an inch is smaller um, for each of the panels. And so this one will go like this. Right? And so, let me get the bone folder. Somewhere here I have a bone folder. All right. And so now, for this section, this is where we're gonna be adding this panel. And then we have this section. Let's do this one first. Oh my gosh, I feel like I'm taking forever. But anyway, hopefully the next ones are faster because we'll already color. But yeah, uh, anyway, we'll see. Okay, and then we're gonna go ahead and now for this one, this one gets attached here, okay? And this one is gonna get attached right here. You see that? So um, let's attach first this. And you're gonna go ahead and center it. And then the same thing with this one. Everything has to be um, kind of closed, right? Oh. And you can use also the, um, what is this called? Mm, the tear and tape as well. And there you have it. So this one will open like this, right? And you can see it here, okay? 
but it will go flat still in your envelope. It opens like so, and it's one of those to stand up. I don't know if you can see like those cards that kind of stand up here, okay? So now for this one though, uh, we're gonna go ahead and add this section. So this is where we're gonna be embellishing, right? And so let's just put this one first. Okay, and then this one right here. Yeah, this is a, this is a fun full card for sure. Yep, very different than what I've done. And so hopefully you are liking it. So this one will go like right here. And then I'm gonna be adding the little puppy. It's hat, right? And then the candy cane right here, and then the sentiment. See, and I do like this one rather than this one. I feel like if I use this one, I'm kind of covering most of the stocking, and this is why I wanted to have like a smally one. See that? So anyway, so let's just put first this one with a glue dot. Where's my glue dot? Um, So this guy is kind of grabbing these, and this one is going to go like right here. So I'm going to go ahead and add two more glue dots. And you know that I love using glue dots, especially for these type of things, as I am layering out. And then I'm going to be using the dimensionals, okay? So yeah, I tend to use a lot of dimensionals and glue dots and the seal, of course. There you go. See, so this one will go right there and then this one is gonna go right here. Now we can add some Wink of Estella to the white section, of course. And maybe we do that in a second to continue embellishing this guy. All right, and then this one will be all on dimensionals now that I have everything pieced. So like I will put one here and one there and one here and one there. I might just need it to have like a small one here. I know I tend to use a lot of dimensionals. There we go. Yep. And then we're going to be adding this one right here. Now, I don't know that I need the bow. Let's just do the bow first before anything else here. I was thinking of a red bow, like a cherry color bow. We'll see how we feel about that before we do the Mary. Uh, where's this one? And like I said, I love for that reason the this ribbon because it's just easy to color. You can get it in any color you want. And so I thought, see that, the red. Now, when you're coloring, try not to go this way, but rather use the side of the tip of the brush tip. And it's also better if you use the brush tip than the bullet tip, right? Because you can go um, and cover more. And you can do as many, um, you can add as much color. And we'll see, maybe that's enough for me. Now let it dry for a second. Because it's alcohol, it does dry faster. But yeah, let it dry just for a little bit um, so that you don't get all the, see, like I'm getting all the ink in my hands. It's fine. But um, yeah, it kind of gets a little bit messy. Let's see if I want the bow. Let's see. 
Maybe it's smaller, bro. Say something like that looks nice. Ooh. Yeah. All right, so let's cut it out. We'll see if we'll like it. There you go. Yeah. So this one will have a dimensional. Uh, where did they make here? Like, where are the dimensionals? How much space do I have? Okay, here yeah, I can put the one on this side and then have a glue dot on this side. Where's, where's the glue dots here? Did I use all my fast suits? So funny you say that. No, I still have some, but I've been using the seal, uh, but I still have some of the fast suits. I've been just, um, I've been using the seal mainly because I've been hearing that people are not liking it sometimes so much because it kind of, um, you know, it kind of gets a stock and you do have to be pulling it. However, I don't really have that much of an issue, you know, like it does, like other than moving it, it's fine. But um, I still have some of the other one. But I've been trying to play more with this one just to see what exactly everyone is talking about. Because I've been hearing about that more and more. And some of my customers even ask me, how do you do it? And I'm like, uh, I've been using the fast fuse. <laughs> so I just want to get some of experience with that one as well. But I still have plenty. So yeah, I stock up during that um, clearance what, like two years ago and a year ago? I don't even remember now, but it's been a while. So yes, I still have some of it. Crazy, right? <laughs> All right, so for this one, I'm gonna go ahead and use some of the yellow. You know, just to add a little bit more of um, color here. There you go. So, but yeah, Carol. There we go. See how beautiful this looks? Very sheery. Oh, definitely. I love it. And so you can see here the inside. And again, it's just so easy just to address it. I feel like it just goes really well. So anyway, so here's card number one. And again, it's one of those that could uh, stand by itself as well. So anyway, so let's go with card number two. Hopefully the next one is faster because holy cow, I took forever. And for this one, I've already um, color. And I cut the pieces, so it should be faster. Um, and see how beautiful this looks. And again, you can personalize that little cut to any of your liking. <laughs> All right, so um, for this one, this is similar to the card that we did. What am I doing here? Hold on. Yes, okay. This is similar to the card we did last week. Um, if you remember, we did the... Um, oh, somewhere here. I know I have it. Well, it was with the painted season, which I'm not trying to look for. Yeah, here we go. It is like this one, okay? So it opens up and there's a belly band. So I thought about doing the same, but not with this suite. Um, Cause I just love that foam, uh, that foam fold. It's also a foam fold. Um, and so I just want to do it with a different design. So you can see how you can create over and over the same, right? The same, um, type of card right using the uh, different suites or different products so anyway so this one is four by five and one quarter my card base if you remember this is the same as last time so my card base was eight and a half by five and a half and i cut out i think it's a strip of one and a quarter yeah one of a quarter so i escorted four and one quarter so i know where's my half and then i cut out a one and a quarter strip right and then i just um score here at two inches right and i really just eyeball that section so 
and um, that way I have my card base. Okay, that's how I get that card base. Now for this one is four and five and one quarter. This one is one and one quarter by five, I believe. Yeah, by five. So it's gonna get a little border here. So we can go ahead and um, adhere these. And we're just gonna have a little border. Then we're gonna be putting this one like right here. We're just gonna go okay. And so then for this section, I have a, oh, I forgot about my, mm, I messed up this one. So this one goes here. So I'm going to have to put this one on the background. So, but it should be, so I'm going to do it from here. That's still okay since it's the same color. It should have been better if I had put it underneath. I totally forgot about that part. So I'm just going to glue it here. So it's still okay, but I like it better when it is under the white. Okay, so don't forget about that part. Don't do what I just did, right? I missed that part. Oh, anyway. And I was thinking, uh, I think I'm missing something. And clearly I did. So anyway, we're going to go ahead and put this one. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, it's still okay. I mean, it's the same color, so it's fine. But I like it with those things are cover with the this panel. It's fine. Now for the for the border or for the top, we have a piece that that is two and three quarters by five and one quarter, and a piece of designer series paper that is two and a half by five. So this one is going to go also on top here. So let's go ahead and do that one. And this one is going to go right here, okay? So let's just go ahead and... Oh yeah, I'm glad you're liking it. I like foam folds. I just feel that sometimes it takes a little bit longer. And like I said, I picked three for this one. Now, these ones are from the seasonal labels, which is this one. Um, this is part of the painted uh, Christmas, which is uh, the suite that I used last last week. I just love the dice a lot. I mean, like I said, if you know me, you, you know I love all the uh, different dice, right? And so... The labels, not the dice, but the labels. And so definitely love playing with this one. So anyway, so this one is going to go. This one is going to cover here. I just need to make sure that I am covering it. There we go. And so now for this part, I have this one. Which, because I want to be using. So the way I was picturing this one, though is I want to have, so this one is going to be very simple in the sense that I want to have, I don't know if I want it here or here. I think I like it here. So I might move this one a little bit here. So it's grabbing it, the label, right? Like the guy, the little cat is grabbing the label and then have the little candy cane somewhere here, right? And have the sentiment here. Now, because it has a candy cane, I thought of our other suite, which this one um, is called the frosted gingerbread and i love this one that says sending you peppermint kisses you know i thought it would be cute so i want to be using that one um so you can see how you can mix and match sentiments now if you don't want that one you can use any of the other ones i think there's one that says uh santa Paws is it's coming which i love as well but i thought um this one will look really nice 
And again, I just need to put it more towards one end. Now for this one, let's just do it in um, cherry color. I think it will look nice, I believe. So let's just use cherry color. Because it's more, more of a monochromatic car in a way. Although the cat has the gray, you know. But uh, overall, everything is in the cherry color. And we're going to be putting this one, sending you. Oh. There we go. There we go. And so it looks nice, but this one I want to put, like I said, I want to put this one here and there. So let's just put first, because I want to have like this one here and then this one here. See, kind of grabbing this and then have the peppermint here. All right. So where is our, yeah, here. So where is the glue dot? So let's just grab a glue dot. And then have it somewhere here. And then have this one here. And then have that one here. Let's just kind of grabbing it as well. All right, and once I have all of these, then all of this is going to go in dimensionals, okay? Now, I do got to be careful with that cat, right? Because not everything in that cat, right? I cannot have that adhesive going on this section, right? So always be mindful of where your cat is, I guess, right? Mainly because I don't want to close shot my... Um, my card right oh you know what let's just add some of the little ones here and I know I tend to put a lot of dimensionals well I think that's enough And then I have this little guy here, right? And so it opens like so, right? Oop, like so. And there you have it. Now for this one, we could add some of the red, uh, where is the whole, yeah, here. Some of the red rhinestones and then also do another little bow, right? With the, um, in binding ribbon and again in the red will be really nice so same as with the other one Ooh. I should probably not cut out that little piece but that's okay I mean it already did right now you always want to have a a piece of um, paper as you're coloring your ribbon Mainly because it's gonna transfer and uh, it's gonna stain the um, the surface behind the ribbon. Okay, so um, now if it happens, then you can use a little bit of alcohol and clean it up. But yeah, if you don't want that happening, you can um, just let it dry a little bit. I'm gonna use yeah. I'm going to use the red rhinestones for this one. Let's just do a small bow again. Mm -hmm. And then I can have it like somewhere here, right? And I'm 
There we go. And I can have this one like coming right here. I would cut a little bit more here. I don't like when it goes out. Mainly because sometimes it's harder to mail. And then let's add some of the rhinestones. Oh. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and add There you go. And so really something as well, but see how simple this is? And I think it looks really nice. Now I could also add something else here, right? Or I can just have enough space to address this, uh, this scar. How about that? Do you like it? Now, the other thing that I was thinking you could do is if you add adhesive to just this section, you can make this as a little pocket where you can have a, um, a gift card. Like, yeah, a gift card. So. Anyway, so that's another one. So like I said, two different fun folds, right? And so let's do the next one. So the next one, whew, we're almost there. Whew, I promise you, it's not gonna take forever. <laughs> um, all right, so for the next one, all right, so for the next one, again, it's another fun fold that I been wanted to try out. So I have a piece that is um, Sherry Cobbler, and this is five and a half by four and one quarter. Yeah, so it's a quarter of, of a sheet, right? And then I have the piece of the designer series paper, and this one is five and one quarter by four. So this one is going to go here. Oh, Pat, you are so sweet. Thank you so much for your nice comments. You're always so nice. All right, now for this section... I have um, a piece that is eight and a half by four and one quarter. Is that right? Four and one quarter. Yeah, four and one quarter. And I scored it at three, at three and one quarter. Let me just make sure. Yeah, three and one quarter, and then at six and a half. Okay, so I end up having a two inch here. Okay, so this one is gonna go right here, and that's how this one is gonna open up. Okay, so now for this one, uh, what I was thinking is the panel where I'm, I can um, write or address will be here because I want this to be my gift card holder. And I should have here my, um, this one, the tear, yeah, the tear, because we're gonna be taping here. So now for these, I wanna have this one right here and then this one right here. Okay, so now this, part is one and three quarters by four and it will go right here and then i have another piece that is four by one and three quarters so in essence it's the same size right and it's gonna go right here and this is where i'm gonna be uh having my my panel right okay and so we will decorate this section and here's where i didn't know if I want, which I think I want, right? I want to put, uh, what is this? Instead of using the seam binding, I was thinking on this one, I could do, like, I could do everything else and then close it with a bow, right? Yeah, close it with a bow. And then have here, yeah, I think I'm, that way it's always closed. Because if not, it's going to look kind of weird, I think. I don't know. It's going to look kind of weird this way. So I think I'm going to go that route. But we'll see. Okay, now this part, I don't know if I said that. This one is four by three. Oh my gosh. Oh, um, we're here. So we're gonna go ahead and use the same sentiment we use just for the sake of time. The same sentiment we use for the other card. Uh, hopefully it's lined up. There we go. 
And again, you can use any sentiment you want. I just want something big. Like I said, I like having something big. Or if you want all the space for you to write, that's also okay. Now, uh, for the front part, I have one of the Escalo uh, Contour dies, which, again, is part of that promotion that is going on. And it's this one. So it's the third from the largest to the smallest is this one. So it is right here. And I get, like I said, this one has the nice larger escalopes and i think it looks really nice then i have um a piece of the science series paper and this one is three it's a little bit more than three and one quarter by two and it will go like right here okay then i have a piece of pool party and this one is four by three and we're going to be embossing this one and then i have two of the stockings and one of um, one of the labels that I show you um, on the first card that I was gonna use and I didn't use. So we're gonna go ahead and put here the Be Merry. I think that one will be really nice. So let's go ahead and put that one already. Ooh, hold on, hold on. There we go. And then let's do the embossing on this one. That way we have all our pieces ready to go. For the embossing, we're going to use again the cotton emboss machine. Um, and you need. Um, just the platform one with number four as well plate number four and then i'm going to be using the textful textile which is one of my favorites i think i use this one the majority of the time um just a good a good folder for sure and again you can get this machine right as part of your starter kit right and save a lot right now so Let's just have this one right here and look how beautiful this looks, right? Oh, it pulled out. Okay, so now we have all the pieces. So let's just start gluing down things and see how this one is going to go. So this one shouldn't be as hard. It's just too many pieces <laughs> that I have going on. Okay, here we go. Then we're going to go ahead and put the spaces. This one's going to go right here. Now, if you want, you can punch out or cut out with the layering circles, a little thing here so they, they know it's a pocket. Maybe we do this. I'm just going to use an old punch just for the sake of time. But just eyeball it. And again, you can do this with the dice. You said that it is right there and they know it's kind of like a pocket. I feel like when you have that little circle, it's more obvious that it's a pocket. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and put our... Tape. All right, so that way, like if this were your 
gift card holder you have here a little pocket see um, and then this one will go right there like I said so this is a very simple card um, for a gift card holder I think right All right, and then here's where I think I'm going to be putting this one right here. Uh, we're going to be adding this one. And so here's where I was thinking about this one. I have it here. This is where I don't know if I want it or not, right? Let me use a um, I don't like that ribbon, not ribbon, but I did, let me just use, sometimes it feels like you need like two hands, right? Or two hands, three hands. So you can just use this one. There we go, much better. There you go, much better. Mm-hmm. And I can either put it like so, like if I want one, there you go, and have this one right here. Yep. Um, or I can put it more, as much as I can on this bottom. Yep, there you go, there you go. And then have this one right here, yep. Yep. So this one will be on dimensional. So I do like it. So I won't be opening it anymore at this one because I already like that. Now, when you're doing these, probably um, you might want to have everything ready to go, you know, so that you're not opening and closing as much. And again, if you don't want to be putting that bow, you can avoid that part. I just thought it would be better if it is close shot so that it, it feels like a little gift you know so like this one right so i'm going to be putting this one right here now this one will be on dimensionals just because of that ribbon Oh, I put this one underneath. Oh. There we go. There we go. And so now for this section, I would probably just add the tear and tape just because I want something really strong. I don't want it to be falling off. And I want and also want to secure the um the gift card holder, right? So the sorry, the ribbon. So yeah. So that way my ribbon is stay put in place 
the gift card holder. So this one is more of a stronger adhesive. So I would recommend using this one. And so for this one, I was thinking of something really simple, like something like this and have this one come right either under. Actually, I like it over in this case. You know, something like that. So something really easy. Now, if you want, you can add the little um, cat, like if you want to embellish, but I didn't thought, ooh, I actually like it. Like if it were under like with both, right? You know how cats are are always in everywhere. So it could also be nice. I'm gonna leave it without for this one, but um, definitely you could. I feel like this one looks nicer that way. Um, let's, so I'm gonna be adding this one with dimensionals. Who Miss Addy's having a meltdown again. I don't know what's happening, but she's not happy. <laughs> oh, thank you, Linda. And see, this one uh, is really the designer series paper, right? Like, it's not that bad. And you can cut out as many of those and then um, color coordinate. Or mix up, not color corner, but uh, mix and match this. Da -da -da. So let's just add one of these. Oh, thank you. Glad you're liking it. So I really love this. Sweet. All right, so this one, and then we're gonna be adding some of the dots, not the dots, but the this one. And now for this one, I thought because I have all these blue, that maybe we'll put the blue rhinestones, right? I don't know, maybe like so. I don't wanna be putting more. So anyway, there you go. And here you have it. And like I said, this one opens kind of like so. And I definitely love the bow here so that it secures when they open it up then they have a gift card holder right so this one will be really great for like your uh stockings like to put your gift card in the stockings right so anyway so there you have it um definitely a little bit more in both cards than my regular cards but i feel like they all look really nice don't you think so anyway so here are the different cards let me know which one is your favorite um, definitely fun folds. Mm, love them. It's just, uh, I usually try to just do the one fun fold and then the other, the more of a regular, just because it does take a little bit more. And I think like I took forever on this video. <laughs> so I apologize for that. Yeah. Almost an hour and a half. Holy cow. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, so thank you so much. Like I said, um, make sure you are on my mailing list. If you want to be getting into the card classes that I have going on. Also, don't forget about those awesome promotions. Um, cause right now you get, um, you save 20% on the dies for, from the annual catalog. And there's definitely lots of dice that I would highly recommend you stock up on. Um, also car second ink. Um, that's another one. Are really good but definitely the dice i think is the, the the way to go and of course you can uh get a lot of those uh dice as part of the starter kit and again it doesn't mean that you're going to be a demonstrator uh or doing classes or something like that uh all it means is that now when you purchase your own crafting supplies you get a discount of at least 20 percent. so um and you can remain as active as you or for as long as you want um, there's no penalties, so there's nothing to lose. So anyway, so thank you so much. I really appreciate it. And thank you, thank you for being here with me. All right, so have a good night. Oh, Sarah, you like the, you like the third one? Yeah, well, that's a good idea. Give money. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Not only the gift cards, but the money. You're right, that would be a great way. And you can do this the same with lots of different uh, suites for sure. So anyway, 
So have a good night and I'll see you next week. Bye for now.